Hey everyone, ever wonder how you can create this type of video masking shape effect on your framer website using component? This video I'm going to explain how you can create that. This will not affect on your website loading or any optimization health issue. Well, I have created multiple examples here so you can understand the combinations within this uh, feature is limitless and you can apply anywhere you want as I am also from a design centric background like you are so I know how much it can get impact on a project so I'm highly recommending you to use that and I'm going to break down everything starting from this section so inside that there is a mask video component this code component I have created so I will provide the remix file so you can utilize that on your project and you can see there are multiple uh, property controls here so the first one is the video url like the hosting platform you are using to host the video and it will retype a video url so this is the platform and i have already created multiple videos based on that and i will share the link so you can take a look how you can utilize this platform to host your videos and directly um, share that on your framer um component and you just need to click on this url and just paste that um here so the second one is png mask so this one is actually the png file that will convert the video as a shape based uh, based on the uh, png file you are providing so at this moment it has this uh, png file so it, that is why it's actually convert its shape like this like a mask and the next property control is edge blur you can play around with this and another two are uh, video y and video x these are these are positioning right like the offset so you can position your video based on the shapes it has and the last one is loop one so you can stop looping or enable it it's all up to you so i have applied the same for this one you can see this one is the png file i have uploaded so this is how simple it is this one as well and this one is gonna be interesting so i'm going to break down this so i have created the whole shape inside figma so inside this frame you can see there is a group that is a button i can name it button and the next one is the shape actually the png shape that i want to uh, mask within our video so i need to ex uh, like export this specific one from here i just need to click on export it will be downloaded and the next one is the button but if i uh, export the button and uh, then import that on framer the there will be some mismatch you will may face so i think the best uh, strategy is to uh, click on this one and uh, remove this shape and if i click it again you can see the whole containing part actually uh, framed at this moment that i will directly uh, import on our framer so i'm going back to my framer profile and i'm going to duplicate that again so that you can understand everything better so this one i'm removing all and i'm going to uh, like import that here and i'm going to press k on my keyboard and scale this something like this and inside that so now i need to add that video component the mask video i have already created here this one so i just need to grab that or i can also copy and paste that here inside this frame so you can see it looks like this at this moment so i just need to upload a new shape in that png file so you can see so now it's coming with its uh, actual shape so i just need to position it something like this so you can play around with this as well uh 
is all up to you i'm going to uh okay it looks nice so yeah that's that's how you can create this type of shapes uh in framer and you can also add a button here as well it's all up to you and the next one is this one it's also simple i just created the whole things um here this one i just uh individually uh export that this one and then i uh remove that and then i directly import that on framer but the strategy is is actually subjective you can follow any any strategy you want to achieve this it's all up to you so yeah that's it for this one and uh, if i go back again this is similar like here i'm just using a basic shape and then i add all this a uh, stack here on it to achieve this i will share the remix file so you can take a look and this one is actually abstract on if i click here you will see this is how the shape looks like here and this one as well so i have already created that here this one so it's actually separated i individually export that or downloaded that and then i directly import that on framer like i did before so it's similar this one as well i have already created that shape here as well you can see this one so this is how you can create these shapes here and this one i just play around things and also this one i just created that shape uh, individually then i uh, like add that inside this div so you can also do that this is also a simple one you can also achieve that so if you face any issue you can comment there and i will try my best to assist so have a good time bye